This is one of the most sustainable sites in the UK, certainly one of the largest at the moment. Suntom is the first street to be built in London for 100 years. There's so much going on here, it's a really vibrant, thriving site already and it's not even finished yet. We've got Central St Martins, we've got new affordable housing, we've got new private housing. We've got Camden Council's new building here which is going to have a library and swimming pool for the public to use. So there's loads going on, there's going to be thousands of jobs. I think it's a real success story for London. King's Cross is a long-term development. It's an integrated energy and utility model and at the centre of that is an energy centre. We got on board as Metropolitan probably about six years ago and then Vital came on board about three years ago and have designed, delivered and built that energy centre and the heat network. Buildings are just plugged into that heat network to get all of their heat and at the same time of course the engines, the combined heat and power generates electricity that's sold onto the grid to offset the electrical need on, on the site. Today we have formally switched on our first CHP engine which has been very exciting and has been the culmination of around nine years work on from when we first started to think about district energy schemes. It was a very exciting moment and almost a historic moment to press that button so it was a great honour for me today. I think people are actually very surprised by the Energy Centre. They're firstly surprised by how big it is, how very tidy it is, and how very pink the engines are. At a site here, like King's Cross, the Energy Centre has been based entirely around understanding what the users, be it businesses or domestic properties, need in their homes and offices. That way they manage to optimise the efficiency, and if you optimise the efficiency, then you optimise the cost. And that's going to be absolutely vital as we move to a lower carbon energy system. We're actually achieving on some of our buildings carbon reduction of around 50% better than the current building regs, which was far better than we'd ever thought we would do. This really is a future-proof, sustainable community because of that central energy centre. The beauty of the energy solution is plant goes in in modules, so the energy centre has grown over a number of years in a number of phases. We always knew we would go through at least one recession. It was a shame it happened almost the day we started. So we've had to spend a lot of time looking at phasing and how we can match the development, particularly of infrastructure, with the development of the buildings themselves. King's Cross is a complex site. It's going to be built out over many years and it's very important that you've got partners on board that, that can deliver and can work with you. Problems will come up and it's important you can work together and Vital have certainly done that. They've been part of that team and have come up with solutions to problems and, and we've moved forward together. Vital Energy have been very flexible. They've worked alongside us and they've been able to cope with the changes and the demands that we've put upon them. I love King's Cross. It's a real community and to know at the heart of that is an energy centre that's saving 50% carbon. It's a great project to be involved in. King's Cross is indeed an exemplar of combined heat and district heating and it's going to deliver a very sustainable energy system for a long time to come. Music